guys, today I want to show you how I achieved this glossy wet makeup look. I have already prepped my face and honestly by prepping my face I just mean I put on my acne treatment and moisturizer and stuff. So right now let's get into the makeup. I'm gonna start with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Highlighter. For foundation, I'll be using the one from Bobbi Brown, the Intensive Skin Serum with SPF 40. And I'm just gonna go in with my Chanel concealer. For under eye, I'm just gonna use my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And now, let's set our face. I'm going to be using the Givenchy Loose Powder. This sounds so fancy. Um, this is actually a Christmas present. If it is like an extra hot day, then I would put on another layer of powder and I'll be using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. Let's move on to the eyes. First of all, I'll be using the Crystal Glaze Gloss from MAC. It is part of their Aladdin collaboration. As you can see, this already provides a layer of kind of like that wet look that we're going for but I still want to intensify a little bit so this step is kind of optional. I'm going to go in with my Chanel eyeshadow and this is in the shade 804. Actually, you can interchange both of them. Sometimes you can just use a similar liquid eyeshadow as um, the Chanel one or you can just use the gloss from MAC. You don't have to put on both all the time. But since I am trying to achieve like the ultimate look, I'm just gonna combine them. With this look, I like to skip eyeliner, so I'm just gonna go straight to mascara and I'm using the one from Glossier. Right now, I'm just gonna quickly put on my Lositin lip balm so I can let it set in before putting on any lip gloss. For your cheekbones highlight, I have two choices. You can either use um, the crystal gloss and the liquid eyeshadow on your cheekbones as well. Or you can go for a powdered highlight. I'll actually be going back in with the two products that I use on my eyes, the Crystal Glaze Gloss and the Chanel Liquid Eyeshadow. Of course, we cannot forget about our brows and I'll just be using the Glossier Boy Brow. For my lips, I have two approaches. If I feel like I look really pale that day, then I would go in with a little lipstick before actually putting on lip gloss. My two favorites are the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and Bond Girl because these two are the closest to my natural lip color. But I think today my lip color looks okay, so I'm just gonna skip the lipstick and go straight for the lip gloss. For the lip gloss, I'll be using the one from Fenty Beauty. I'm 
just gonna set everything with a setting spray. And voila! If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There will be a new video coming every Saturday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Until next week, God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!